Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another SWTOR video. We will be going ahead and making this uh, video for the Justicar territory in Coruscant. So let's get right to it. I successfully completing the Jedi Trials, so that's the same thing. Uh, Carrie must pursue Tarnus to abandon military vault in the heart of the Justicar territory. So, uh, Justicar territory there is, is kind of uh, like, actually my least favorite uh, of Coruscant. Uh, just because it's it's actually quite big, uh, but it's also kind of annoying, <laughs> if you ask me. I've always found Justicar territory was a little bit more annoying than normal. Let me just move this over just a tad bit. Cool. There we go. Alright, so... Let's see how this works. Let's see how we get the Jessica territory going. Uh, I believe there's like really two parts, technically two parts of the Jessica territory. There's a Jessica territory, and I want to say the waterworks or something like that. Uh, I don't know. If, yeah, I think the waterworks was more of a uh, of like a second part to the Jessica territory, but it's still not bad. Oh, but. Suppliers. Only the best I don't know if you really want to go through. Yeah, we still got about two hours left on my buff here. So let's go ahead to Jessica territory. Uh, we're gonna leave here now. We're gonna go ahead, come out here. And I believe if we want to go anywhere, we'll just go this way. Try not to t try not to bring that up too much to map up too much to see if we have any difference on uh, on sound or sorry on, on the size of the video because I know this is gonna be pretty large. Uh, Kira is with me now. Kira Carson. So everyone likes likes her. Everyone likes you know taking her out for adventures and a lot of people. I won't spoil anything yet. Main really the reason why I'm doing these videos is I really want to take everyone through the storylines and that's it. So we're gonna go here. Uh, this is Jessica territory, as you see. There's a the works. I believe that's what it is called, the works. And then you have uh, Jedi Temple. So we'll go to the Jessica territory. I think you go back down to the works for that, not the water works, the works. Alright, so here we go, Jessica territory. We're gonna go through it all. Uh, there is a Datacron in the Jessica territory and the works as well. Uh, the one in the Jessica territory is a little, they're both actually more of a pain. Uh, the one in the Jessica territory is actually actually a big pain. Uh, so you'll start seeing how these Datacrons are really bad and you know how you can't get some of them and I get so frustrated when I get to one of them because I'm like, oh no, I can't get to this. Uh, and actually, one of the next planets we go on is, is sort of, uh, they have a situation where, yeah, you need to group up to get it. Now let's turn this down a little bit. Cool. Now, uh, select your staff. I was going to say, mate, you might be able to get something there, but... Mm. Alright, so where do we go? We have to go over here to the Ugnaught Saboteurs and tracking down the traitor. Uh, but there's also... I thought there was a side quest here. It doesn't seem to be the case anymore. But you see you got the codex entry for the beast. things there. Let's see if these help out. This, do I need this? Nope. 
not gonna help me. Okay. There's also uh, a lot of side quests actually here. So uh, there was some heroic here. I think there's two heroics actually. There's this kid here. I know that. So we'll listen to this kid a little bit and talk to her and see what she says. Excuse me. You don't look like a Justicar. I hope. The Justicar say they're protecting us from the Black Sun. That they're better than the gangs. But they're not. I hate them. You're you're really not one, right? I don't want to get in trouble like Brayden did. Who's Brayden? Are you asking for my help? Please, can you help me rescue Brayden? He's my brother. He's only 15, but they think he's older. They say they indentured him because he broke one of their stupid curfew laws. So they lock him up all day and make him shoot the Black Sun all night. He's going to die! If these Justicars wish to keep the peace, it will not be on the backs of children. Thank you. Huh? Are are you really a Jedi? They say sometimes Jedi appear to children who are truly in need. To get to Brayden, you'll need some special belt they all wear. It's the only way to get past the security field where Brayden is. Okay. Please, please bring him back to me. Cool, so we gotta get some, uh... It tells you here, security belt, and then you get another another thing here. This is a heroic mission. Jedi, thank the Force. I hope I can convince you to help an old man out. Name's Loran Gonthor, president of Gonthor Industries, finest custom metalwork on Coruscant. At least we used to be before the sacking. Once the attack began, I went off the grid, lost my connection to the upper levels. Took elbow grease to stay afloat. Did well until those Justicars arrived. Took over my shop, kicked me out on the street. The Justicars will corrupt this whole area if someone doesn't stop them. I knew you'd understand, Master Jedi. The Senate and such won't help. They don't want to face the Justicars. Also, they say they got no record that it's my shop. Of course, those records are long gone. Blown away during the sacking of Coruscant. Only proof I have now is the deed. And that's inside my old shop. If you get it, I could force the Senate to push the Justicars out. Your company will be back on its feet in no time. I'm glad to hear it. You'll always have a friend in Gonthor Industries. Here's my personal security card. It's got an access code that will get you inside my vault. Once you're in, grab the deed and run. All right, grab the deed and run. So that's it. So there you go. We're going to grab the deed and run. Uh, so here's your heroic mission right here. Uh, there used to be something in here too. I don't remember that. Sort of. There used to be like a side mission there. It doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Yeah, I remember that. What happened to that? That's weird. I don't see that side mission there anymore. Huh. Interesting. But okay. Yeah, there used to actually be a side mission like right in here. Like right in this little area. And I don't see that anymore. It doesn't seem to be the case. Uh huh. Fewer than. Yeah, so they actually really went ahead and. And they removed a lot. Uh, so when I. When I guess I do my shadow, I'll. You know, my Jedi shadow. I'll. See if they can give you the extra missions. I, I think there's a setting that gives you the extra miss missions. I don't, I don't re remember if that was the case, but. Or how to do it, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so we go down here, uh, let's go ahead and do this heroic. Ah, see there was one here too, there was something here, I knew there was a mission here. Master Jedi, don't see too many of you on Coruscant anymore, certainly not in Justicar territory. Agent Reed Gandon, Strategic Information Service. Notice anything odd down here? 
Like how quickly the Justed Cars took control? Weapons and armor don't just materialize out of thin air. The Justed Cars have a supplier, and it isn't the Republic. You follow? You suspect the Justed Cars of illegal trade? And worse, black market goods are one thing, but trading with the Empire is treason. Whoever's got the weapons runs the show. The SIS needs to know where those supplies are coming from. The Justicars control their own shipping dock, and I'm sure they keep records. I just need someone who can handle an ambush to get them. Storming the docks might make the Justicars suspicious. If there were another way, I'd be topside and long gone by now. Get those records to me as soon as you find them. You don't want to get waylaid by the Justicars. Okay. <laughs> Now you find all these records. Yeah, that's our. Alright, so let's go do let's go do the heroic while we're here. Now I think I'll get a uh I guess we'll do this heroic. It should be a heroic two plus. Should be fair, fairly simple to do. Is Kira a healer or no? Is it she's a healer? Yeah, she's a healer. Cool. So yeah, I do want to take Kira around because I think she's she's fun to take around. But I, I, man, I really don't want to spoil anything for you guys while while we're doing this because I know what happens. Like I have a level seventy that's, that actually just did Jedi under siege on another server. Um, so I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say too much. Some bonus side mission for the for the Justa cars here. Uh, you got some other things that need to happen as well. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this very well now. I remember this heroic very well. It was kind of a pain in the butt before, but when, when it wasn't this easy, it was kind of like, oh, you got this heroic, let's do it. But you really needed like I think this is like one of the heroics that like you could like on the old on a very old. Uh, system when when <laughs> and let's just talk about that a little bit I'll tell you something funny here in a minute after I take this guy out all right so one thing that you used to have used to be able to do on the old system and and you had his holo statues, right? But you never used to have the holo statues. You can go to trainers. And then when you had the trainers, you had your abilities and they actually cost you credits. Like, people were so mad because what happened was that you were spending all these credits just, just to find out that in due time it's zero credits. So, when you see me go through holo trainers, you, you see that I spent zero credits on the holo, on the, on the extra skills. Um, so, that was something that was a sore spot for a lot of us folks that came around in beta and then suddenly after beta was done like you know it was like oh, we got through this whole thing and, you know we're spending almost an entire year grinding up our characters and wasting credits and then all of a sudden you know EA came in and took it over like oh well you shouldn't have to pay for your skills so we're gonna make that zero credits but we're not gonna give any money back any credits back to to your characters so if you've wasted them sorry too bad and that was a very sore spot, especially with like you know when, when people are like, "Hey, I spent like two million credits upgrading my skills, and now I don't have them, and I couldn't use that for something else." They never really addressed that and took that back and just kind of left it as is and said, "Sorry, nothing we can do about it." Um, sucks. Yes, I know. Happens. What can you do? Uh, but anyway. So that was that story. But yeah, during that time, you know, it was a little, a little bit more difficult to take out NPCs like this, like, you know, in 
in succession where you had you know uh, three three gold level elites. Like for example, if I go here, I can probably take out the two gold guys without any issues because my companion is a healer. So like when you had companions, your companions had specific roles. Um, at that time, like there was no, there was no choosing of a role. So like Kira actually wasn't a healer. She was more of a, okay, well I am going to go ahead and be a DPS person. And then you had uh, um, a T7 that was he was more of a tank, right? And then uh, you get another, you know, you get another guy that was more of a, a range DPS. You know, you get another another one that's like, okay, I am a healer. And you got a couple of healers. So it's just, you know, that's how it was when. Back in the day, you know, when SWTOR went went up around, but now it's it's different, much different. All right, let's click on this thingy. Did the elevator here? Come on. Why isn't that come down? No, uh, it just went up. I just missed it. Okay, that's all right. Alright, so a lot goes on here. Got more NPCs to take out. Uh, and then you got this thing up here, and that's really all you got. You, know, you got this one guy, he's, he's not that, not that, not a boss or anything like that, so. Fairly simple, but then you have a boss that you're gonna have to take out. Um, at least I think a boss can spawn here, I don't remember. I think this calls a boss. Leave the shop. Okay. Leave the shop. That's it. That was it. Huh. What a waste. <laughs> Is this going to get me anything? Not really. wonder if I can expand my inventory. Yeah, I think I can. It's 50,000 credits. Yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit on the inventory expansion model. Now we can leave the shop or we can take out a few more NPCs. I'm going to take out a few more NPCs just for the fun of it. Why not in this case, right? So we got three gold levels here. Let's see if I can take them all out. I think I can. I should be able to take all three of them out. Get a little extra XP from it. Maybe get a chance at a nice decent loot from there. Uh, so your gold level elites, when you when you take them out, uh, you have that chance to get like a uh, uh, what they call purple drop. Or it's like a purple or pink drop, whatever. But those are the ones that you know, uh, you get a little bit of a chance. Not too much, but might happen. Those are the, those are the items that you really want to focus on. Uh, you want it. You want those items. Uh, they drop a lot from bosses. That's for certain. Especially at higher levels, you'll see that in due time. And now there's this guy. There's just a car for me. Oh, he's a repair tech. Ah, he's a healer. No wonder why. I was having a hard time with him. <laughs> Should have taken him out first. It's like he wasn't doing much damage. I'm like, he wasn't really doing a lot of damage. Eh, well, anyway, you get some credits out of that. Well, that's really it. Now we leave, then we go back to this guy, maybe get a reward. Uh, I don't, actually, you may not even have to go back to the guy. You might just have to leave and just get credit for it. Uh, 
Oh, that's the good news. The guild's still around. Sabres of Defiance still around. There you go. You get a nice reward there. And you upgrade to a different level. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, that brings me to a second thing. Okay, good. Good. Uh, but we got the pummelers thing that I just took out. So we can probably take this out and put that in there. And will these boots upgrade me? Yes, they will. Nice. So I will start having to sell things, I think, very soon. Ah! That's not what I wanted to look like. I want to look like that. There you go. Ha! Darn it. Okay, make sure you don't apply. Alright. Uh, you do want to do the whole map and adjust our territory if you can. You might have uh, extra stuff to take out along the way. Maybe. There you go. Bonus, 30 Justicar guards. That's the fun part, isn't it? I uh, usually have a lot of these guards around the area, so take them out. A lot of guards. A lot of Justicars there. Okay. More just cars here. Yeah, you'll probably continue. You'll probably do this bonus really quick because there's a lot of NPCs in the area. There's actually not a lot of people on Coruscant. Only 19. That's good to know. Happy about that. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I can take more of you guys out. Show you guys now your first data cron here. This one, this is the data cron that makes me cringe a little bit sometimes. Just be warned, this is a frustrating one. I will go ahead and make sure that I get it though, regardless of what I do. Uh, just go ahead and come in here for a little bit. Some more Justicars in here. Let's start taking out more of these little Justicars. And we still got like 15 of them left. That should get you, yeah, the full map there. Uh, definitely want to focus on getting that full map. There was a side quest where you have to take out the Justicar Lieutenant. I don't remember if the. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Uh, for some reason, I thought there was a side quest with the Justin Crown Lieutenant, but that doesn't seem to be the case now. Okay. That's okay. I'm gonna keep taking out more Justin Oh, wow. I'm actually not getting credit for the Justin Cars. Oh, I guess you got to be in a certain area to do it. Okay. Alright, wow. That was a waste. No. No worries. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, let's show you the, where the datacron is. I think that's going to be important for most people. Uh, they want to know where the datacrons are. So uh, your datacron here. Oh. How do you get it? Where do you go? Here's where you go. You're going to be doing a lot, a lot of jumping here. Jump, jump, jump. Uh, you can probably jump over here, you can jump over here, you can jump here. You gotta time your jumps perfect here, see if you don't time your jumps, look what happens. So now you gotta maybe fall. You might have to fall and start over again. So that can happen too. Uh, these, once you get, once you get moving though, it's pretty easy. I think this is the one they said just don't move. Ah, oh, this is the one. Yeah, that's how it was. You gotta get into like this little corner over here. Right, this is what I remember. Okay. You actually have to get to that little corner because it's kind of like a... Kind of on an angle. Yeah, this is what I remember. 
There you go. Now you got this. Now you got this. And now you have to aim yourself properly here. And now, oh, this is where the fun comes about. Ready? Don't stop. Oh, man, that's brutal, isn't it? That's going to be so brutal. All right, so start over again. You got to get on those pipes. Like, you legitimately have to get on those pipes. I've, I've sometimes spent 30 minutes just doing this. Because the jumping is ridiculous in this game. Like, like the jumping is not fluid. It's not... It's not how it should be. Nope. See? Didn't work. And the other part is your NPCs are going to respawn on you. So when your NPCs respawn on you, guess what's going to happen? Uh, if you had somebody that was up there already, like, you know, that can pull you, uh, do that. Because that really does work. Uh, they can pull you up there to get the Datacron. I think that was a little trick that a lot of folks started doing. Okay. Here's the fun part about this. You have to time your jump perfect. Ah, and then you know what the other problem is there? You over jump it now. When you over jump it, it's even, it's even worse. Okay. Don't over jump it. Clearly don't over jump it. And now you're gonna have these. Well, the good news is I can take out some more Justin cars. That may or may not count. Yes, that's that's good. Yep. This is one of your challenging data crons that you're gonna get. And some of them only get worse over time. <laughs> Believe me. Uh you're gonna get a lot of very frustrated. Like I said, there's one planet you're gonna get really frustrated on, and that was Narshada. Uh, but you might be able to, if you can time it right. There you go. Now here's where the fun part comes about. How do you how do you get up here? What do you do next? Like, is there something you can do? Like, I don't know. Uh, I thought there was like a, a double jump or something like that. Nope. See, that's... Oh, man. I'm going to be here forever, aren't I? There was like some weird double jump you had to do to make sure you get on there. Uh, you can't really... You're not supposed to be stopping. Ah. Even that screwed me up. I think what you have to be, yeah, it's like a double or triple jump or something like that. Uh, it's actually a triple jump. Ah, oh, you gotta be joking me. Oh, I had the second one and I couldn't get the third one. Once you get that third one, you're gonna be in such a better spot. And then it's like kind of easy, like easy from there. Once you time them right, too, you gotta time everything right. A lot of jumping around, guys. Nope. This is so frustrating. This is such a fr this is such a frustrating data crunch for me to get. Like I don't know how. There used to be a certain way to do this, and I don't remember how it was. Well, this is gonna get on me too. I mean, the good news is you can come back and get it later on if you really want to. But while you're here, you might as well get them while you're here. See, my aim is always off. That is my thing. My aim is always off, or my timing is always off. So let's see if I can get the timing right. And then, and it lags a little bit too. So it's like if it lags a little bit, that's when things get really screwed up. Ah, I can't. I, I, I can't. I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you time that. I used to be really good at this, and then like, like I said, you might be here for a while. 
and to save time, maybe we won't be here for a while. Maybe we'll just move on and try to get it later. Oh, it didn't jump! It didn't jump! The guy didn't jump. That's the thing. He didn't jump. I want him to jump, and he didn't jump. Mmm. Like, the space bar is your jumping button, right? So that's that's the thing. And, ironically enough, when I'm playing these games, I typically you know press the space bar by accident during combat. And I end up jumping a lot. And I can't jump there. For whatever reason, he's not jumping there. I'm pressing the space bar and he's just falling like a dumb buffoon. Let's see if I... Let me try something. Let me try try a different approach on this. Because I remember there was something weird about this. That I could do and I'm like, oh, let me do it that way instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was something very strange about this. Like, something I could do here that was like, oh, I could do it this way. See, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's too crazy. Aha. Aha. There we go. Do not fall. Do not fall. Okay. Now that we got this, now I know I got this. Beautiful. And now, here comes the best part. Here comes the best part. You're almost at the end, and you may fall off of it. Oh, it didn't fall. I just timed it just right. Holy cow. Wow. I timed it just right. There you go, guys. Got the Datacron. Woo! <laughs> Kira says the same thing. She's like, ugh. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so now we can fall. We can fall down a little bit. Excellent. Alright, good. Good. That was one of the more difficult ones to get. Uh, so you see how I took a different approach in getting Datacron in itself. Uh, so that is very, very important to do it that way, I guess. Alright. There's your bonus mission. So let's move on here because I know there was some stuff in here too. Explains why the Justicar settled here. I don't think yeah, I, don't, I was gonna say I don't think there's anything big in this part here. Nice. Keep moving, let's keep going. We don't have to take out the Justice Cars now, which is the best part of this whole thing. Because uh, they're not part of my bonus uh, series. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to take them out for extra XP if they're in the way. And that's kind of what we're going to be doing here. But we want to focus on getting to the mission part. Excellent. So there's a just card, but let's let's get this little crystal thingy. So you saw it was green. Look at that, it's green over there. So on the right hand yeah, so it was green. So that means that 
you know, soon you won't, you really won't have to collect these as soon. Uh, because it won't get you your archaeology that you want. Wow, Kira's a good heal. A really good heal. There we go, difficult lessons. And Galactic Rampage Part 1. Cool. I think that's when you uh, get get enough uh, NPCs to kill. That are just... Get you to Galact Galactic Rampage. I think it's like a daily of some sort. Just get your extra Galactic points towards, uh, towards your guild. Yeah, good old Justicar territory. Always the fun part here. Mm hmm. Here's this red, so it's, uh, that's green too, so. It would be kind of important to get that stuff later on, but for now. Oh. For now, it's not going to make a difference. For later on, it'll make a huge difference when you want to make, like, you know, special crystals that you want to sell for people, if people want certain colors. You get, like, random colors you can find, good colors, too. Here's a nice treasure chest. Maybe we'll get something out of here. Oh, and by the way, something else you can do. This is a vice. So something else you can do if you want. Uh, I believe you can send your uh, companion to sell trash items. So if you're if you're getting uh, you know issues with your. Uh, with your inventory and, and you don't know what to do next. You know, you don't want to expand your inventory, you don't have enough credits. And all these all these junk items are still an issue for you. You're fine. Go ahead and do this. Sell trash items. I'm off. And it will take usually about a minute. Uh, when you when you do your legacy, when you start getting legacy levels, you can actually increase those minutes. Uh, increase, uh, decrease, sorry, decrease a minute to be less. So you want to wait for her 40 something seconds because you want your companion back as you're doing this. So that's the only disadvantage about this whole thing is your companions when you first start out are going to be very very new and very take a very long time to do anything. Uh, so here she's going to come back here in a, in a second here. Cool. Good. That's what we wanted. And we got one more of these uh, things to come back to. So. It'll be this guy over here. He's a high level NPC. Uh, we can ignore everything else that's in the way for him. Just go right to him. There's a nice little archaeology thing over there for him, too. He's a Justicar commander. Gold level NPC for you. And let's see, is this something she might like? 
Yep, sure. She likes that. That's good. Because you like me after all. There you go. Now we got to return to the guy. Uh, we're not going to return to him yet, though. Because we got to do all these other quests, too. Uh, you see, we have here, here, here. We got a bunch of them, actually. So we have to do all of them. Archaeology thing going. Oh, I thought I was gonna get that. Yeah. Really, Kira? I thought I was gonna get this thing. Yeah, now we get it. Cool. Well, we'll keep moving around. Going to these different areas. Uh, I thought for some reason we had a little. Thing. What is this one? This is the Ugnaught Saboteurs. Uh, let's go to the Ugnaught Saboteurs because I think we're gonna... I think they're gonna send you out in a little spot anyway. To do, to do weird things. And, you send you, and they actually just send you to, to that little area you're going to anyway. Uh, okay, yeah, that's where it is. Cool. Nice. Looks like another, uh, getting a lot of those lately, huh? Is that what that is? Yep. Oh, I bet, I bet T7 would have liked that better. That's all right. We'll influence her a little bit. She doesn't want to talk to me just yet, but she will soon. Uh, she, we're basically taking her along the way here because of the fact that she is going to be your next companion. And you need to do this anyway with her. She's the only, only NPC uh, companion that will, that will do the quest with you. And here's this little got root. Got root. Cooperate and you won't be harmed. Where's the Gree device? <laughs> Are the people on this level in some kind of danger? This is Corson. Why wouldn't the Senate help with repairs? <laughs> There must be some way to avoid that outcome. Air filters. I'll tell the Gree representatives about your situation. Cool. So you just go back to the Gree and just say, hey, here's what the series with the story is. These little buggers are having a hard time with something. Uh, they don't mean to do anything bad. So please help them. All right, cool. Good to know. All right, so we have a few more things that we can do here. Uh, clearly, here's a 
return to Gaelden, and then you have the repair to Greek console, which is actually here. So we gotta go there anyway. Now you got this, uh, you gotta get, uh, what they're considering a belt of some sort, some, some kind of stupid belt. Uh, usually these gunners have them. And you just gotta loot one and then you gotta get this kid out of, out of harm. There it is. Security belt, destroy the fuel generator. The fuel generator's around here somewhere. I think it's actually a side quest. Yeah, it's a side quest. Cool. Definitely a side quest. Uh, let's move on with the side quest then. Get one of these. Archaeology is getting up there pretty good, I would say. Uh, let's see if we can do this. What is our archaeology at? It's at 69, and then our investigation is at 90. Uh, so you keep moving on with these things. Good, I got one of these so I can one of these droids so I can do this medical droid here. It's important, I think. I need to sell things anyway. Good. Now I got extra credits. Out of that extra room. That's important for later on. Awesome. Uh we have only a few places we can go here. So we only, only, we only have two more things, two more ways we can go, uh, for now. How did I miss that? Oh yeah, for now I gotta go up this way. Huh, weird. I didn't think I missed that. Yeah, I think there's, there's like some kind of weird, weird direction you have to go into. Just across computer lab. I don't know if that's where we need to go, but yeah, definitely not there for now. I don't know what was in here. I don't remember what was in here, but I don't need to look at that. I do need to go this way because we need to go rescue that kid. It's a pretty quick mission, but like a pretty quick side mission that it takes you to. Here's your little side mission here. It won't really do much much damage to you if you move away from there. Just go into here, this little phase. And that's it. And now you get these little... Probably, this is probably another bonus mission of some sort. Go up to level 2, find this kid up in level 2. Sure, I'll find him somewhere. Well, I guess there is no bonus mission on this. Weird. I thought there was. Nice. 
easy. There's a kid, he's right in there. Oh god, I found him. Stupid kid. <laughs> Posing just a car, it's nice. And now we click this and now we go talk to this kid. Brayden. Your sister sent me. You're free. Granny? Oh, but she's she's a little girl. How could she why? I oh, now they're gonna kill me. Quick, can you put that back? Um get it working again or something? You want to be the just car's captive? I can't escape. As long as the Justicars have me in their records as a curfew breaker, they'll just hunt me down again. And if they get me for going AWOL, they'll use torture. Unless... Look, if you really want to help, go into their computers and delete my file. I'll hide somewhere. When things die down, I'll find Rennie again. Okay. I mean, if that's what we gotta do, kid, that's what we gotta do. That's it. And that's it. So we return to her too. Alright, so there's a lot of returning over there. Um, as you see. Like I said, very, very quick quest here. on to little areas in here. I think what we're going to be doing eventually is, is we're going to be going down one part, uh, but I don't know exactly where that part is. Let me just see. Is it here? Yeah, I think it's over here. Yeah, I think we actually end up getting back in here. Like, just to get through it, but just to be on the safe side, I want to make sure that I at least get that map. So I can survey the entire map here, Jessica territory, without worrying about putting the map in Jessica territory. There we go. You survey the entire map in Jessica territory. That's cool. Great. So you'll eventually survey the entire map of Corellia. I'm sorry, Corellia. Coruscant, not Corellia. <laughs> Corellia does come up though, and this plays an important, uh, important part of your. Uh, a lot of your missions, so you'll understand when you get there. area in here as well. You're probably gonna want to get through this area. Yeah, this is what I remember. The prison, yeah, this prison guard stuff. I'm actually surprised that there's no uh, additional side quests on here. I thought there was, but I think that side quest was more for... Uh, the counselor, not not for this guy, not for the Jedi Knight.
And now we're in here. Jedi Knight phase again. Uh oh. That's a problem. Oh, Jedi think the stars. I don't see a planet prison anywhere. That's not good. We've been such fools. Darn us. He's a Sith. I've come to stop him. What happened here? Tarnis tricked us. Said your Jedi were going to shut the project down. Told us to bring the planet prison here. Oh, Keep it safe. Thought we were saving the Republic. We brought Tarnis the prototype. He turned on us. He killed everyone. <laughs> I need to know where Tarnis went. Don't know, but he took the planet prison. Prototype creates a massive heat signature when activated. Run a thermal scan. He'll find Tarnis. Planet prison needs time to build a power. Enough time for you to destroy it. Save Coruscant. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor man. He didn't deserve this. I'll run a thermal scan from one of these terminals. Come on. Okay. Use a computer console. There we go. Running a thermal scan. Oh, the technician wasn't kidding. Something's really lighting up. Tracking. Here we go. Sector 167, coordinates 8863. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The signal's coming from the ruins of the Jedi Temple. Planet prison has been activated. We don't have much time. The temple ruins are in a hazard zone called the Works. People go in, but don't come out. There's an old elevator down to the Works near here. Hope you're ready for anything, because that's about as much as I know. If a Sith can get down there, so can we. Uh huh. Let's hope we get down there in one piece. And he didn't. I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Cool. So now we go to the Works after this, so we don't have to go to the Works now. Uh, I don't think there's any other area we need to go through, but let's let's go through this just to make sure we get the entire map. I think everything is more of a uh, just come back and do this. Maybe we can keep it a shorter video here today. You know, now we're still long; it's still short. <laughs> think we don't have to go through anything else other than let's let's go through the uh, travel checkpoint here uh, where am I I'm here the works or we can go just car sector let's just go right to the just car sector and turn in these quests oh you gotta be joking me Little buggers Okay, let's try that again. Now let's go to Jessica Sector there and make sure that we turn in our quests here. And we'll end up uh, actually just going back to. Um, we can. Uh, we'll end up going back to uh, the cantina just to get some rested XP. We'll probably get a level out of this at least. Looks like that's what's going to happen once I turn everything in. Could get close to two levels. Yeah, if I leave here level 30-ish or so, that'll actually be pretty good. Um, might be just a tad underneath that. I think typically we're, we're out of here by level 25 or so, but... Yeah, this we're, we're definitely above where we need to be. Yeah, see 18, but eh, eh, it's not bad. 
Okay. Cool. So we'll go talk to the little girl. She'll tell us some stuff. Your brother is free. He says he will find you as soon as it's safe. Really? The Jessicars were saying he'd been killed. But he's alive? Really? Thank you. Thank you. You're my second best friend in the whole world. <laughs> second best friend in the whole world. I just saved your brother, kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, take more of these little Justicars cars out, get them out of the way. Uh, looks like we can go right to the works, but we're not going to go to the works tonight. I think we're going to call it a night, and we'll get to the works a little bit uh, some other time. Uh, the works ain't going to be a big, uh, won't be won't be large, but you know they'll they'll be there for maybe about thirty minutes or so. So may, it could be maybe. One of those quick videos towards the end. We'll see. Shipping records from the Justicar docks. This should be everything you need. Couldn't have done it better myself. These records prove that Justicars are getting supplies from off-world. I'll transmit these to headquarters. Let them chew on it a while. You've got my thanks. Cool. Good stuff there. Got that. And now we get to this grief part. Start calling me a black bisector again, or whatever the heck he wants to call me. <laughs> I think this is where I remember. I, I, this is what I remember. Yeah, this is kind of it, but not it. But kind of, yeah. Cool. Ah, we got a little thing here. More archaeology. Okay. Internal transmitters reveal you convey the optimization solution to me. I also scan a crude Ugnot porcine biped proposal of collaboration. Curious. I think you'll find that data pad worth reading. The Ugnot porcine bipeds submit esteem for my efforts and honor my faculties. This is unforeseen pleasantness. With this optimization solution repossessed, Coruscant's waste processors revive. Filth disease poison levels recede. Plague outbreaks averted. All resolves to purple parallel. Uh, what? The black bisector comes, pleasing as it is needed. I am NIK, science unit. Please talk up if your comprehension white shifts. I will use simple, happy language words to help you understand. Huh. I do appreciate anything you can do. Indubitably. Coruscant power comes from the works. Darkness comes from the works. Coruscant senators, traitors are blind. The power of darkness must stop. You talking about blackouts? Yes. Perhaps we understand. The works is very low on Coruscant. There, grease spawning generators breed electrons for machine consumption. But enemy droid machines intersect the power conduits and yellow shift their functionality. Enemy droid machines must stop, and conduits must be fixed. Why are the enemy droid machines disrupting the power conduits? All droids in the works were damaged when the Empire attacked. Now they are corrupt. I monitor the power conduits and know where to implement purple shifting. As Black Bisector, you can take out many, many droid machines. With information planted inside you and our tool sphere repair mother in your many fingers, you can perform the fixing function. Is it efficacious? Sounds efficacious to me. <laughs> Excellent. Red tangents envelop us. You will do well, Black Bisector. <laughs> Sounds efficacious to me. Uh, yeah, sure. Ah, and then there's another little quest here somewhere. I didn't see that. That's what happens. 
And then we go over here and we have this little side quest over here. Opens up right before you go to the works, so you get this little guy right before you go to the works, and uh, yeah. Jedi, thank you for coming over. I am Fez Burba, scientist notary of the Republic and planetary consult to the Galactic Senate. My current project could alter history. If my theory proves correct, I will be the most famous scientist who ever lived. Consider this. We all know the Imperial bombardment of Coruscant wreaked havoc on the infrastructure. But what if it also damaged the planet's very core? Would there be a way to repair the damage? Perhaps, depending on the extent of it. But most likely the planet would have to be evacuated. It is crucial that I get seismic readings from the lower levels, specifically from the works sector. In the spirit of scientific inquiry, and on behalf of the safety of the Republic, I need you to perform this critical mission. Prove my theory correct, and the Senate will grant me a substantial endowment for further research. I will give you a generous reward as compensation. If your theory is incorrect, what happens then? I will still pay, of course, but your compensation will be significantly less. All that's required is that you take the Berber Seismic Activity Reader, my invention of course, and use it in the works. The reader is both accurate and user-friendly. The challenge will be in the journey, not in the science. Okay, cool. Now I just go down and just show you what the works is, and we'll, we'll do another video on that, uh, I think, in the night. Um, we do want to sell some stuff and do whatever, so here we go, here's the works. And you get another quest here from somebody at the works, and you get all this crazy junk. Uh, talk to her. Him. Hail to the glory of the apparatus. Welcome to the hallowed walkways of the great works. <laughs> I'm Osiris, the chief engineer. I serve the great machines, the true rulers of Coruscant. It's a pleasure to meet you, Osiris. It's always good to see another humble biological down here. These machines are the vital organs of the planet. Biologicals are merely parasites, totally dependent on the infinite energy of the great ones. But discord emerges among the exalted masters. The stationaries grant sustenance to the biologicals, but the mobiles long to destroy our kind. I'm sure the Senate would be surprised to learn this. Biologicals ignore the reality. They will learn. Understand this. One of the stationaries, Thermodraft, is in great pain. He's melting down. But the mobiles will not let me help him. When he dies, thousands of biologicals above will die with him. His energy will be unleashed. Are you talking about some sort of explosion? Radiation leak? Both. Thermodraft dies an angry death. You are only a mere biological. But perhaps you could help save Thermodraft. You'd have to release the control valves on his steel skeleton. Do this and matters could be set right. I guess this would be serving the Republic. Yes. <laughs> a good service for the great machines and, and the biologicals. You'd be serving the whole planet. Thermodraft lives farther down into the works. You'll see him. He is astounding to behold. Sure. Sure, buddy. Okay, so he was further down into the works. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Uh of maybe doing this medical republic medical droid here uh, getting that and then we're gonna sell some more stuff again nice okay cool so we're just gonna go back to that cantina uh, for now uh, district cantina we're gonna go to district cantina there and we'll do the works another night so there we go uh, so if you guys did enjoy this video uh, go ahead hit that like button Make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you have any comments or questions, hit that bell notification to know when I go live or when I upload a video, and I will leave you with until the next one. May the force be with you, and I will see you then.